Okay, hi, my name is Jonathan Clark, Scooter, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to break into a truck. Um, <laughs> the reason for this video is not to teach you how to steal trucks. Uh, it's because when we're planting, we often find that uh, planters or foremen, um, or even myself, the supervisor, sometimes locks the keys in the truck. And so it's good to be able to break into them because you don't want to be calling a um, tow truck company to come out and break into your truck for you. It's very fast, very easy, with a little bit of skill and practice. Um, you should be able to break into a truck in about 45 seconds to a minute. Okay, so here's the tools I'm going to use. Easiest thing to do is to use the tire change kit from another truck. Um, obviously, if your tire change kit is locked in your truck, you're not going to be able to use the same one. So, uh, but if you've got another kit somewhere nearby, that's uh, the fastest thing. And that's because this long bar is going to be the one that I'm using to, uh, to tap the electric door lock opener and the tire iron can be used as the pry bar for the door. Um, another thing too, actually I don't I don't often use the pry bar, quite often I'll use a planting shovel. So this plus a planting shovel is a good method. Um, I like to have an old shirt or something nearby because you don't want to damage the trucks and it's possible to put a small scratch in the paint on the door if you're not careful. So I'm going to use this to keep the truck protected while I do this. And if you're, if you're locked out there by yourself in the middle of nowhere and you don't have access to your tire change kit or stuff because it's locked in the truck, you can, in, uh, in desperate times, you can use a rock. You can use a flat rock, something like this one, to pry the door open. You can use a long stick to go in and poke the thing. Anyway, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures, so use tools that you can find in the bush if you have to. But let's go take a look and uh, see how fast we can open a truck using these tools. Okay, so uh, here's the keys. Let's commit ourselves. Doors are locked. Keys are in the truck. Bam. So basically our technique, what we're going to do is we're going to pry the door open up at the top corner here because it's easier to pry it up at the top corner than over here or down here. And we're going to stick our tire iron rod down through into the truck and we're going to hit the electric door lock. Uh, we're going to hit the unlock side of it, obviously. And if you don't have a truck with electric locks, it's a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to find some sort of stick or something that you can use to pry up the door handle. It's a little bit tricky on the t if you've got the type of door handle that doesn't have the um, the, the thing at the top that lets you grab onto it more easily. If you've got a straight one, it gets very difficult. But anyway, this is one of the easiest trucks to get into, and this is what most of our planting trucks are right now. So I'm going to hop up on top of here, and again, not damaging the truck is one of the key things. So another way to damage the truck is to get into the middle on the roof or into the middle on the hood, and your weight will crush it down. So try and stay along the front edge of the hood and along the front top up here. Okay, so now that we're on top of the truck, again, stay out of the center because the way you can see there's a slight crease here. Someone's tried to do this before. This is an old truck and they've put a tiny crease there and dented it. There's also two small dents that you can see right here where someone's had to break into it before. That's bad. You do not want to be breaking into it and leaving dents. Okay, so that's why I'm using the shirt because um, the shirt uh, can help you, uh, can help prevent scratches. Okay, so I'm going to open the door enough there just to get that thing in. Now, you should be able to pry the door open like that, and then you'll be putting your Okay, so it's unlocked already. As you can see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one more time, slow motion. And uh with the window open so you get a better sense of what I'm doing. Okay, so
pry the door, I'll use the small end. And I'm coming through, and I can see through the crack. And basically, I'm going down, and I'm hitting the unlock. And that's all there is to it. Okay, and if you do it properly, you can quite easily do it without scratching your truck, doing any damages. Now, there are other times, like if you've got a, uh, if you've got a lock like this, that's got the tab in it, but it's got no way to pull up, a coat hanger is kind of handy to have. Most people don't carry a coat hanger with them in the woods. But uh, you can also use a stick with a little bump on it where a branch was, and sometimes use, uh, basically, imagine that the stick has a bump on it here. Sometimes you can put enough pressure on this, pushing out, that as you pull up, you can actually lift the lock. That's really quite tricky to do, but uh, anyway, with the electric door locks, that should solve a lot of your problems. Some better advice, though start of the season, no matter what kind of truck you have, cut a spare key and then take it and somewhere under the fuselage, under the chassis, the frame, tape, duct tape that key into place before you get all the mud on it. And then at any point during the season, you don't even have to break into your truck if you need to. If your keys get locked in, you can just scrape away the mud and get at that spare key that you've got hidden on your truck. Okay, that's your best solution long term. Think ahead because unfortunately accidents happen. Thanks for watching.